My name is Trent Sterling, and this is a custom Playmaker action tutorial. Okay, what we have here is a pretty simple Unity game that I've been working on. The idea is that, uh, you know, enemies keep spawning, not really in waves, but just kind of a constant barrage. And uh, they drop coins and stuff. You pick up the coins, maybe upgrade your guns, your helicopter, or whatever. And they just, they just keep coming from off screen. Doing a radius around the player to determine uh, proper areas to spawn works pretty well. But I kind of want something a little bit smarter than a simple radius. I want to actually be able to detect what the camera can see. And Playmaker does have a function that lets you do this, which is game object is visible. However, this this action doesn't actually work if you have uh, dynamic shadows. So like in Unity Free, you have hard shadows now. And that actually breaks the is renderer is visible uh, function. So what we need to do is actually calculate the area that the camera can see. It's kind of like shooting a large square ray cast into the world and determining if that is a safe place to spawn our object. After a little bit of Googling, I found a quick and simple way to determine what the camera can see through code. What I've done is I've created a clone of the game object visible action, and I've called it the game object visible in camera frustrum action. It looks exactly the same and functions the same way. It gives a, it fires off a true or false event, depending on if the object is visible or not. To demonstrate the idea, I have my game screen over here on the left and a scene view over on the right. And this sphere turns green if it's in the camera's view area, but it turns red if we can't see it. You can actually still see the shadow of the sphere when we go off screen. And it doesn't matter because we're actually calculating it based on what the camera, what the main camera can see not however Unity determines what's visible. Unity rendering those shadows of the scene would actually determine that that sphere is visible even now when it's not because we can see the shadow. As you can see here, if we make the object go just barely off screen, it turns red. And when it comes back on screen, it turns green again. What I'm going to do here is actually demonstrate how it would look if, say, we had a large grid of these visible testers. Now, if I make the game view very small here, you can see that the balls always appear green in the game view, you can see which ones are out of the camera view. Now, you could also use this to, say, disable objects that are outside of the view, maybe to save resources or maybe just to kill things that go off the screen. Let's say you have some kind of bullet hell game where you want to kill the objects that fall off the screen. Normally, you'd have kind of a static area of where off the screen is, but say you're putting it on Android and you have all these different resolutions to support and the screen size changes, how do you determine what's still off screen? This action will let you determine if your game object is actually off screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. Okay, so here I've started a new Unity project and I'm going to go ahead and import Playmaker. And after importing Playmaker, I'm going to go ahead and import this action that you can get off the Playmaker forums under Share New Actions. And there's a post called Game Object Visible in Camera Frustrum. You can click the download link here and go ahead and drag that straight into Unity. Now I've put this in the root and actually that got named wrong because I've downloaded it earlier. 
Now I put this in the root and you can put this wherever you want. Um, usually people have a Playmaker custom actions folder and you would put this in there. Playmaker doesn't really care. It will find it. So with our new scene, let's go ahead and create some stuff for us to see, to test with. So we'll create a plane, a directional light with shadows, and a sphere. And we'll position it up in the air a little bit. And now we will go ahead and add a Playmaker FSM. Call this Visibility FSM. Go to our first state and normally you type something visible and you'd have game object is visible. And now we have game object visible in camera frustrum. You'll see that the parameters, the outputs look exactly the same. So after we type visible, we'll see that we have game object visible in camera frustrum. That's the one we want to use. Because if we use the old game object is visible, it will only work if we disable shadows. It's kind of a weird thing, but you know, that's how it is. So here we ask, is the game object in the main camera's viewport? And if that is true, we finish. Now we can copy and paste this here. Now we will name the copy here is visible. And we will name this one not visible. Okay. So if it is visible, then we don't do anything because we're already in the visible state. But if that becomes false, then we're not visible. We need to go into the not visible state. And in not visible, if we become visible, if visible becomes true, then we switch back. Now we can do something like set the material color. If we are not visible, let's turn our material red. And if we are visible, we can set our material to green. And this should be enough. Oh, well, no, we need to check every frame on the check. Otherwise, it's only going to happen when we first enter the state. And we don't want that. We want to check every frame if we become visible or not. And now our sphere should know when it's visible or not. We can see here that the sphere is visible in the game window. And if I go ahead and split the windows up and maybe move the sphere outside, whoops, wrong axis, outside of the camera area, it becomes red. As soon as it actually exits the camera view, you can see it become red and you can see that it is working. That's pretty much all there is to this action. It's useful for culling things that are off screen or destroying things that go off screen or even spawning things off screen. If you, we were to randomly teleport the sphere every frame and only want to spawn objects if they're off screen, we could use this check to see if it's off screen and then just have it constantly be teleporting all around determining if the area there is a good place to spawn. This is a fairly basic action and I hope it helps you in your Playmaker game development. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to get more Unity or Playmaker tutorials.